Do you remember the story of Lane Kiffin being left on the tarmac at USC? Do you remember that story? It actually happened earlier this year, kind of the same thing with Herm Edwards. Herm Edwards walks off the field against Eastern Michigan, met by a couple university officials, and he gets fired right there in the end zone. Not much is made of it because uh, Herm Edwards is media protected. So, of course, nobody's going to make that big of a deal of an embarrassing moment for Herm Edwards. Of course, they are going to for Lane Kiffin because Lane Kiffin is the easiest, easiest to absolutely get whooped up on. Fast forward to Sunday, two days from now. In London, the Broncos taking on the Jaguars. Nathaniel Hackett, two and five. Nathaniel Hackett, publicly embarrassed, publicly supported, though, by his general manager. You got to wonder, is the support of a general manager just another guy going down with Nathaniel Hackett on a sinking ship? I don't know. But they always say that damn kiss of death, right, is when you get the vote of confidence. Well, Nathaniel Hackett got the vote of confidence. Let's just say for the sake of argument, Nathaniel Hackett and the Broncos go out, which they are, to London, play the Jags, which they are, and get beat. Ucha Capesta, my eyes are burning. This could be a bad scene, baby, a bad situation for Nathaniel Hackett. I think the odds are probably 90% if that happens, that Nathaniel Hackett is allowed on the team plane and not fired on the tarmac. But it's the 5% that makes this a little sexy.